So you love playing video games, specifically on your mobile device, cause let's be honest, phones these days are more capable than ever to be able to handle almost any game you throw at them. And for the same reason, you bought a controller or a gamepad, be it wireless or wired, to get an immersive feel every time you play your favorite game. And to move the experience even up a notch, you need to use a phone bracket that's compatible with your particular controller. However, the problem with that is that the compatible phone brackets are either not available or the available ones are way too expensive to even consider buying like this one by power a made specifically for xbox controllers which by the way fits perfectly on my cosmic bite aries controller as well so if any one of you also has an aries gamepad and are looking for a compatible phone bracket then you can consider buying this one as its build quality is really superb in my opinion links in the description the drawback with this one however is that you won't be able to charge the gamepad while you play but since this gamepad has enough juice to let you play for 12 hours straight on a single charge. I honestly do not see any issues with this phone bracket other than of course its hefty price of 1500 rupees at the time this video is being made. It's almost as much as the gamepad itself. Moving along and the third problem with compatible phone brackets is that the construction quality of some of the third party ones is just pathetic. So the only solution left for you is to make a phone bracket of your own. My name is Harry and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a very affordable way of making your own phone bracket in just about 750 rupees or just about ten dollars which can be attached to almost any gamepad you might have so without further ado let's get on with the video you'll be needing the following parts which are easily available online. And for your convenience, I'll mention the direct purchase links to all of these parts in the description below. I'm gonna be using my other gamepad, the Cosmic Byte Nebula, to make this contraption since the Power A phone bracket is not compatible with this Nebula gamepad. Do keep in mind that this phone bracket will be permanently placed on your gamepad, so if you decide to make one of your own, then make a note of the serial number behind your controller, if any, for any future references. And I won't be covering this on-off switch as I will be needing that for obvious reasons. You can follow along the steps I'm showing you here now in this video while you build your own phone bracket. And in return, I would really appreciate if you could do three very simple things for me. First, hit the like button as that helps the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to more people. Second, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I have recently started getting active. I'll be posting the latest updates with regards to my channel on both of these platforms. And now, let's continue with the build.
And there you have it guys, this foam bracket seems quite sturdy and secure now. It does have a bit of a weight to it with the gamepad connected now but that is understood. And in case you are wondering how I'm able to play Apex Legends on my mobile phone using a gamepad, you can click on the video link on the top right corner's iCard wherein I showed how simple it is to get this up and running with almost any gamepad. Hope you found this video useful, I'll catch you guys in the next video very soon, until then stay safe and take care.